Welcome to another episode of Color Yourself Calm. And this is my third attempt to make a series of videos about Derwent Intense Pencils. Uh, the drawings that I chose in the previous attempts, it just didn't work. So I decided to pick this drawing from Joanna Besford's Magical Jungle. I transferred it to watercolor paper and now I'm going to try to turn this into a nice Derwent Intense drawing painting. And uh, well, let's start over here with the leaves. Um, let's see, I have a set of 24 pencils. I'm wishing for more and every time I'm about to buy a larger set there is a reason for not buying them. So, so far I haven't bought them. So these are ink based pencils and that is really something different than um, watercolor pencils because the ink um, it behaves differently. First of all, the colors are a lot stronger when you add water to them, really bright. And second, when you uh, add water to it and then when you let it dry, it becomes permanent. That is to say, you can no longer re-wet it and move the color around. Here I have a water brush. This is a Pentel brush. And it took me a while to figure out how these water or oh, how these ink intense pencils behave because at first I thought it they behave the same way as a watercolor pencil, but actually they it's it is slightly different and I find it easier than watercolor pencils because it becomes permanent. The only thing I really have to take keep in mind is that once it dries it it won't move again, so I'm very um aware that I do not leave areas that I would wish to change later on because that is not going to happen. So if you spoil a little bit, clean it up right away as long once it's once it has dries, dried you cannot take it off the paper anymore. By the way, this color that I used is sun yellow. Beautiful yellow, bright yellow tone. Yes, and the world still needs a lot of calmness. Here in Europe, the, uh, the coronavirus is uh, slowly, slowly uh, going away. Well, it's not gone, but the large first wave is... Uh, it's not that bad anymore. But now there is another disturbance in the world. The protests for against racism. Well, the protests are not the disturbance. Racism itself is. We've had uh, quite some uh, protests here in the Netherlands as well. It has all to do with what happened in the United States. 
when was it last week a person who died yeah it's very sad this is leaf green we had a similar shit situation in the Netherlands a couple of years ago a person was held by the police and uh, he died while being held by the police he died of suffocation because the policeman used too much force and this man too was a black man and that is always uh, that makes it extra sad it looks it seems And here in the Netherlands we also have an issue with uh, what they call profiling. Um, when you have a darker skin you are more likely to be pulled over by the police when you are in your car because of profiling. It's uh, that's no fun, I think. So we need calmness in our lives so. and painting and coloring makes me calm. I'm really trying to activate all the pigment that is, comes from the pencil here on the paper. This paper has a little bit of a tooth because it's watercolor paper. So on the yeah, you have hills and dales on this paper and there's more pigment on the hills than in the dales as you can see over here. So I'll try to smooth things out as much as possible. These ink tense pencils are great for layering and I love love layering whether it's colored pencil, watercolor, ink tense, pastels, whatever. I love layering. There's only one downside to it. It's a time consuming hobby layering glazing but I love it the weather here in the Netherlands you know we Dutch we always talk about the weather we have had very hot days summer days here but tomorrow things will change. There are clouds in the sky right now. We have a summer day today, but tomorrow rain will come and we desperately need it. Look here, I wasn't aware enough and now I have a line here that I can no longer get rid of. Here too. That is when it dries, 
it becomes permanent and you end up with a line. Well, now this is just the first layer so I can uh, I can change things a little bit. So in the end I think that layer will not be of uh, that line will not be a big problem. Um, let's go for a different color. Here I have apple green. Where will I put it? I think over here. I hope you are all still healthy, that you did not become ill from the virus. And if you have had it, I hope you will recover completely, because there are more and more stories here in the Netherlands that even if you had a mild version of the illness, you can still have health problems for a long period of time. I myself know someone who uh, who is having uh, problems getting back on their feet again. Extremely tired. It looks like she has some uh, maybe damage to her lungs or something like that. The doctor told her she uh, it would take months to uh, recover. Well, it is the next day and um, let's continue the fun. I'm going to add a touch of color on this leaf. I'm using this one, leaf green. Yesterday evening we had a press conference here on the Netherlands on the Dutch TV about uh, the coronavirus uh, measures and this time the government told us that traveling in Europe is uh, slowly being uh, possible so traveling to countries in Europe this summer will be possible except for a couple of countries I believe like Sweden and the United Kingdom and Turkey and other Eastern European countries I believe But the question I have, me and my husband have, is not answered yet, has not been answered yet, because our question is, can we travel to the United States next fall? And yesterday they told us that um, traveling outside Europe 
is not recommended during the summer but we will go later in the year and there is still no information about how that is going to if that is going to uh, to be possible or not Anyway, we need to be patient and I hope more information will uh, come soon. But I fear that information will be available and will not be available before the end of August, I think. Well. It's a strange world we're living in these days. Yesterday we had a couple of large protests against, ra against racism here in the Netherlands. One of them was uh, in the city of Rotterdam, that is a 15 minutes drive from where I live. And eventually the police had to uh, end the protest, the gathering, because the people, uh, there were so many people that uh, they could not keep distance. And that is something that is uh, that is essential, according to the authorities, because of that coronavirus. So protesting is allowed as long as you keep distance. And there were too many people. So, well. Okay. This is the third drawing that I am uh, st have started with intent and I hope this time things will work out. But I found a way to um, rescue one of the others. I think I'm going to salvage it to uh, try to save it, to rescue it with uh, Neo Color 2. That was on your wish, wish list. Someone asked for Neo Color 2 video, so I think I'm going to use Neo Color 2 in an attempt to rescue one of the uh, one of the Derwent intense drawings that didn't succeed. Here I have a blue, uh, a green called Field Green. I'm not sure if this is going to work out fine, so I'm going to add a touch of this color over here to see, let's change the position of the camera to see if this is going to work because I want a slightly brighter tone here in those leaves. Look at that. And as you can see, Derwent Intense is great for layering, glazing. Mm. 
I've been struggling with uh, something for a while, not the migraines. I've been struggling with what we call in Dutch uh, a koopstuip. Uh, it's that itch, it's like an itch that you want to buy something. And um, I had saved some um, gift cards from Amazon, thanks to you. Viewers are uh, buying on Amazon through links that I offer in the description of the videos and on my website. And once you do that, I get a little bit of commission, a small amount of money for uh, suggesting to buy that particular pencil set, paint, whatever you bought. And um, so I saved all the gift cards that I received from Amazon, all those small amounts of money. And then I was able, I wanted to buy a new art materials. And what I had in mind first was watercolor paint. And uh, I didn't have enough uh, amount of money on the gift cards. So I thought, well, I have to, to wait a while. But then I remembered, oh, there is my PayPal account. And some of you are also uh, supporting Passion for Pencils by donating an amount of money, which I'm very grateful for, because that helps me to, to pay for the, um, for the costs that come with making videos. Like I had to buy a new microphone, so I could, thanks to you. I have to pay for the editing software that I'm using. I can do that, thanks to you. And uh, well, last night I was uh, again trying to fix that itch to buy something, but I couldn't resist anymore. But I bought something beautiful. I did buy watercolor paint. But not the ones that I had in mind at first. I realized that it would be best to invest in something that I really, really wanted to try and had on my wish list, and that is Daniel Smith watercolors. And there happened to be a new set on the market, 12 pens, half pens, a 12 half pen set with colors in it that I don't have yet, but that I already was able to try out thanks to a dot card that my husband took from the United States a couple of years ago. So I already knew that uh, there were a couple of colors in the Daniel Smith range that I would really love to have in my uh, collection. So that is what I bought. And now it's, I have to wait. It will take a couple of weeks before it will arrive here in the Netherlands.
So what you see me doing here now is just um, distributing the paint, the ink, and try to get it smooth to get rid of most of the lines. So now let's take a look at the bird. Well, this is what they call a toucan, and there are several species of toucans, and I'll show you. Let me show you. So this is a page from a beautiful animal encyclopedia that I received. I got it from one of you. A lady from India sent it to me. Absolutely beautiful encyclopedia. And here in this page you can see a couple of toucans and I believe there are even more species on the planet. And here you can see where they all live. Africa and South America mainly. So really nice. So this is good for a bit of um, inspiration. But of course we could decide to um, create our own toucan. Um, I think I'm going to start with yellow here on the beak. And let's add some water. Look at that. As you can see, this ink, this ink tends, it becomes very bright as soon as you add water to it. Absolutely beautiful. Yesterday I told you that the weather was about to change here in the Netherlands and it did. It's cold and it's very cloudy and actually I'm hoping that there will be some rainfall because we are having a drought. It is too dry in uh, here in our garden, in nature in the eastern part of the country it's even worse. Let's see, I love blue, so let's put some blue here. Look at that. By the way, the watercolor paper that I'm using is called Hanemühle Expression. It's, um, it has a quite a smooth surface. It is sized, surface sized, and it is quite smooth. And I tested a couple of watercolor 
uh, papers and this one seemed to work best with the ink tense pencils. Now to pull everything together I think I'm going to add a yellow and a blue in the leaves. Wish me luck. <laughs> I hope this is going to work. Just a touch of blue. It was something that I learned from a pastel, soft pastel artist who said if you use a color somewhere in your painting use it at least somewhere else in your painting at, do that at least once use it do not use colors only in an isolated area but spread it towards the rest of your painting because in the end that will pull everything together it will unite the painting so to speak Okay. Let's go back to the toucan. Now, what should I do? Um, and let's go for a darker color. How about this one? Deep indigo. As soon as you understand how Intense works, I believe they work easier than watercolor pencils. 
I was struggling at first until I understood that you have to work with them layer by layer. Finish your layer, let it dry, and then come back for the next layer. With watercolor pencils, I always have that trouble that when I want to add more layers, the underlying layers will start moving again. Much more than with watercolor paint, I have to say. And that is why I don't use watercolor pencils that often, because I'm having trouble with layering. But with these Inktense pencils, I don't have that trouble. The only thing I have to think about is, once it has dried, you cannot change anything anymore. So you have to make sure that you are happy with how that layer looks before you start. You let it dry and start adding more layers. The large inktense set of 72, both the pencils and the blocks, there are also larger inktense blocks that would work. I think they would have been, they would have worked for the previous attempts that I did much more. But um, they are on my wish list, but every time I almost decide to buy them, there is this hesitation and that has to do with um, eventually the brightness of the colors. When I compare Inktense to my professional watercolors, I see a difference in brightness. I think my professional watercolors remain much more clean and bright, also when layering, than the Inktense pencils. And that is the reason that I, every time that I am about to buy new, new stuff, I end up not buying Inktense. So maybe I should just buy it, but so far it hasn't happened yet. Here I have ink black. I want this to be a little bit darker. Let's see what happens. I think that looks much better. Okay, it is uh, evening right now. And as you can see, I've done a little bit of work. I did some extra color here on the leaves. And I'll show you later how I did that. Um, I decided not to show you everything because then um, I think this video series would uh, become way too long. So I will do some work, show you, and then I will uh, do some more work not showing you. As you can see here, I added already some... Uh, pigment and those colors were bright blue and deep indigo. I'm using this set of 24 pigment, uh, 24 ink tense pencils. Uh, 
So when I finish this uh, section of the recording, I will uh, take everything to the living room. And then while my husband is watching TV or Netflix, I will do some more coloring and painting. And then tomorrow I can show you uh, an update. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Trying to smooth things out. So if you want to join me on this uh, drawing, you can find this drawing in Joanna Besford's Magical Jungle beautiful it's a beautiful coloring book and then you have to transfer uh, well i advise you to transfer the, the drawing to watercolor paper and then uh, use the ink tense pencils because I think the paper in the coloring book is uh, too thin to work with uh, watercolor or ink tents, anything water soluble. I've tried it, but uh, it's difficult. So it's better to take a little bit of effort and time to transfer uh, the drawing. We uh, just came back from a little party. Our niece, she graduated from, uh, let's say, high school today, today. And with the corona restrictions of, uh, in the schools, this was a very strange last year for her. But she graduated. So, uh, we, uh, we went there and of course we, uh, we thought about uh, the measures being taken, so social distancing and my sister-in-law, she had uh, a door open for good ventilation. The, the experts here in the Netherlands uh, say that ventilation is crucial. It helps to uh, get rid of the virus in the air. Let's take a look at the beak right now because I added a touch of orange there and actu actually that color is called tangerine, it's this one. These toucans are very colorful birds, beautiful birds.
Okay. Let's go back to those leaves because I played with the colors and uh, I have to say over here I really like what's happening here and for this area I used a color called sea blue so let's do that again how about over here just adding the pigment not too much because it's very very strong I actually like that, the blue tones in the leaf. I'm going to add a little bit over here as well. Let's add uh, this one, sea blue. Okay, let's take a step back. Okay, well, this looks a little bit like it 
doesn't belong together. There are so many colors right now. But with layering, I will eventually pull everything together. So what I'm going to do now is um, stop the recording and I will do some coloring and painting tonight and then tomorrow I will get back to you and then uh, I'll show you what I did and um, well I hope you want to join me in this series uh, if you have uh, the magical jungle book if not there's a description in the uh, there's a link in the description of this video so uh, then you can buy the book if you wish okay see you tomorrow bye bye